How much do you know about age-related hearing loss? Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Faye from Faye Clinic. Today I'm going to answer the most common questions patients ask about presbycusis or age-related hearing loss in a simple and clear way. Question 1. At what age does presbycusis start? Presbycusis usually begins in the fifth decade of life, around ages 45 to 55, but most people don't notice it until after age 60. Question 2. Why does hearing loss happen as we age? Over time, the delicate hair cells in the inner ear become weaker and damaged. It's a natural part of aging, just like graying hair or reduced near vision. Question 3. Does presbycusis cause tinnitus? Yes. Tinnitus is actually one of the most common symptoms that comes with presbycusis because when the hair cells are damaged, the brain starts generating extra noise. Question 4. Is there a permanent cure? There's no complete cure for presbycusis, but it is very manageable. The most effective way to control it is using properly fitted hearing aids adjusted by an audiologist. Question 5. How do I know if I have presbycusis? If you often ask people to repeat themselves, turn up the TV volume, or feel that women's or children's voices sound unclear, presbycusis is possible. The best next step is getting a full hearing test, or audiometry. Question 6. Is it genetic? Yes. Genetics plays a major role. If your parents experienced early hearing loss, your risk is higher too. Question 7. Do hearing aids make the ears lazy? Not at all. That is a myth. Hearing aids actually help the brain continue receiving sound signals and can slow down the progression of hearing loss. In the end, if you've been experiencing hearing loss for several months, or if you have bothersome tinnitus, make sure to get a professional evaluation. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And if you'd like the next video to be about tinnitus or types of hearing aids, let me know.